Before I start this video, I would suggest you check out a man named Legendary Anime. He's the one who actually let me cover this idea because it was originally his idea, but I'm gonna sort of cover it and put my thoughts on it. And once again, check out his channel. I'll put his video in the description. But for now, sit back and enjoy. So for the past few years, there's been this idea, a very popular idea that many YouTubers have covered, that Luffy's mom is alive and that she's actually in the Revolutionaries with Dragon, and this idea is founded on SBS 44. So in this SBS, a fan writes to Oda asking um, if he will ever draw Luffy's parents, and Oda replies, his parents question mark, well, I think you will be pleased with the next volume, get excited. And in this volume, we see next to Dragon, we see two people, one of which looks kind of similar to Luffy, and she's a woman. So a lot of people assumed that this was his mom because it was drawn in the same volume. However, there's a few flaws to this idea. So first of all, this was kind of vague, all right? Oda wasn't very concise about stating that his mother might be drawn. He instead sort of said, you want to see his parents, you'll enjoy the next volume. And then we see his grandfather and his father, Dragon. Dragon, sort of obviously his biological father, and even though Garp is his biological grandfather, he acted more of a father figure to Luffy than Dragon, because Dragon has never seen Luffy, really. So you could interpret Garp and Dragon as the parental figures that Oda mentioned. But obviously this isn't enough to debunk the theory that that is Luffy's mom, because it still could be. Now one big flaw in this idea is that the woman in the background of the manga was not actually drawn out in the anime. You can see here that the anime clearly got rid of her, and I think that if this was a major reveal, it would have at least been shown in the anime, even if it was sort of secret. And once again, looking at Oda's wordings, he said his parents will be revealed. He never said Luffy's parents will be revealed. Now this might be overlooking things a bit, but this is very important to the next point I'm going to make, which I'm sure a lot of you will agree with. Maybe Oda didn't necessarily intend to draw out Luffy's parents, but rather draw out Frankie's parents. Thus why he wrote his parents in the SBS. Now remember that this volume was around the time that Frankie was becoming a very important asset to the Straw Hats. And it was also around the time that we were told about Frankie's parents abandoning him on that island with Tom. And looking at the features of Frankie and this guy drawn out in the background, there are a lot of physical similarities that they share. They seem to dress the same and wear the same type of glasses, and their faces are almost identical. I should also note that the father who originally spoke in the manga never spoke in the anime, meaning that if his voice is similar to Frankie's, that this would have been a dead giveaway, thus why they chose to not let him speak in the anime. And the woman in the background could also be Frankie's mom, being that the parents sort of left together and that maybe they left and abandoned Frankie, not just to hurt him, but maybe because they didn't want him to get hurt while in the revolutionaries. Or maybe when they were pirates, they decided that things were too dangerous, and they left him, and eventually joined the revolutionaries many years later. And in terms of facial similarities, his mom does resemble him when he was younger. So even though the revolutionary woman was cut out in that one episode, she was shown in another episode, but the fact that it was cut from that specific episode when Oda was supposed to make the reveal of Luffy's mom, it seems like it could have been Oda's answer to maybe any sort of confusion. And whether or not this was just a reference to Garp and Dragon, or whether or not it was a reference to Frankie's parents, it does seem like Oda did not want this woman to be considered Luffy's mom because either he was going to make a future reveal, or maybe she's dead, or something like that. And even though this could have just been an anime-only mistake, Oda does often contact the anime team to confirm and tell them to do things, so I don't think them cutting out this supposedly important character reveal was an accident. And if it was just an accident, I don't think this character was important enough to be considered Luffy's mom. So in this volume that his parents were supposed to be revealed, Luffy did not seem to ask who his mother was when Garp revealed that Dragon was his father. And that is most likely because Curly Dadan was who Luffy considered his mother figure. And there were many moments where we clearly saw that this was the case, such as when Luffy left and Dadan was seen crying, and when Ace died and she attacked Garp despite knowing their strength difference, and even when she saved them from Blue Jam, the pirate. So even though she isn't biologically linked to Luffy, she could still be considered his mother, sort of how Nami had Bellamere, who wasn't her biological mother, but who she still considered her mom. 
But of course, this still leaves out who is Luffy's biological mom, just out of, you know, curiosity. And I would largely consider the possibility that she is dead. In most fictional and shonen stories, the main protagonist is usually always missing one or more of their biological parents. And looking at how Luffy's father and grandfather are made very obvious and his mother is not, it's a big indicator that she is most likely not around anymore. Dragon seems to have huge motivation to take down the world government, so maybe the death of his wife was one of these big factors that led him to creating the revolutionaries. The reason she's not clearly being revealed is maybe because Oda is holding off for a dragon flashback where we see what really happened and maybe part of the inspiration to making the revolutionaries. So that is sort of the basic gist of the idea and I would like to once again thank Legendary Anime. Check him out if you already haven't. For people who really want to see Luffy's biological mother, this might not be your ideal video. And even though this doesn't 100% debunk the idea that Luffy's mom was shown, it does bring a lot of counter evidence to the table. So tell me what you think in the comments. Did this change your mind? Do you still believe the idea that that revolutionary woman is Luffy's mom? Like and subscribe and I will see you all later.